Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So I've made videos before about doxing and what you should do if it happens to you and ways you can avoid it happening in general. One of the things that I didn't really talk about in that video is why it happens. And I think it's important to note that most of the time when people deal with these sort of dox threats, it's not that they said anything horrible or like grossly offensive or anything like that. I'm not saying that you don't have people who end up in that situation, but most of the time with people that are getting doxxed, it's not what they said, but it's who they said it to or, you know, what they're talking about. And yeah, the reason I'm making this video in general is because there's a prominent YouTuber right now who's found himself in a bit of a doxing situation. Not with him getting doxxed, but his community doxing somebody. Uh, Dream, some Minecraft YouTuber. I'm, I don't really watch that kind of content. You know, like building videos and like redstone tutorials and stuff like that, sure, but... I think that was just a little bit after my time. Like, I wasn't part of that target audience. But, you know, huge following of young people. And it was maybe a couple of days. It was this week. I know that much. But um, someone commented on something he had said on Twitter, you know, of him being, you know, borderline homophobic. And points it out, you know, accurately. It's not like it was anything inflammatory, but saying, you know, hey, you make these kind of jokes to your audience of, of you know, teenagers and children. Maybe you should watch what you're saying. And, you know, he responded. I can't believe people would. Every, everybody just wants to make me seem like this bad guy. And his community went nuts over this person um but yeah apparently they found where they lived got their information the person who ended up like made the initial statement you know criticizing dream made some post about you know these are the demands that they made of me so they won't dox me or put my information out and that's insane that's insane to me to be honest with you um not that it's, uh, for one, it's, it is a child, you know. They claim they're 14 years old and this is happening to them. They also claim that their living situation isn't the best, you know. They've been kicked out or something like that. They're living with a friend or, you know, living with the person who they're dating or something like that. It's a weird, it's a weird scenario. It's very odd, but that, yeah, Dreams Community did that. Because someone insulted their favorite content creator or something like that. So they decided they need to dox this person. They didn't say anything wrong. You know, the criticism that they levied was... I mean, it made sense. It was accurate. There was nothing wrong with what they said. But he got offended over someone pointing out, you know, you, you're doing something very stupid. You should stop this. And he got his feelings hurt, so his community needs to defend their leader. And this isn't just a, this isn't just on him, you know. This is larger communities can have this problem. It's really up to the person who leads communities like that to address it when it happens. You know, it's it's ridiculous to me. Like you'll see these people who you know hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers, and they make videos or make posts about, you know, young people, people who, small audiences that they have cultivated, and they'll start these videos, oh, but don't make fun of them, guys. This is just, this is just so we can have fun. Don't go and attack them. If you know that stuff like that is coming out of your community and you don't address it, you're part of the problem. You know, like this is this is on you. This is on you as the person who you're not telling them, you're not giving them commands. 
but they're doing it for you and you're not telling them to stop. So yes, this is your fault. I do not understand how you can keep an audience being this vicious to people and then playing a victim, you know, changing your whole account profile. Oh, now I'm not dream anymore. I'm nightmare. Like, no, you're, you got, you got blown out and then your community harassed a child and threatened to dox them because they criticized you. It's insane. You should be ashamed of yourself. The person who did the doxing and threatened this child. You should be ashamed of yourself. And, you know... What do you gain out of it? From harassing somebody who criticized a multi-millionaire person who plays video games all day. You know, I hate to... I hate to use this kind of meme, but... He's not gonna fuck you, bro. Like... You don't need to do that. But, you know, we'll see what happens with all this. You know, if any of his crazy fans try and actually find my information or anything like that, I'm not a 14-year-old, but, you know, maybe that's all it is. Maybe they only try and attempt these dox threats on children because they know that they'll be afraid or something. I don't know. But... If you're a Dream fan, look into what he's doing. You know, you you have to you have to look beyond just the silly quirky videos and stuff like that. Because the only reason he has the ability to do this to people is because this is his career. You know, his fans are the ones who are allowing him to keep this sort of demeanor up. So as much as I blame him for sending his audience after them, I can blame his audience for approving of something like that. So, everyone's at fault. Nobody's innocent. I guess that's how it should be. <laughs> Y'all try to have a good day.